So today I'm just drawing the Spider-Man Homecoming Spider logo type design. This is not like a, a perfect type of um, drawing tutorial or anything, but just to follow along really. Um, so as you, as you can see, I've drawn a circle there and just drawing uh, the body, uh, which is almost like a the top half of a, a three-dimensional cube without the lines in the middle. Um, just try and freehand this design. You can use rulers. I'm not. Um, you know, um, this is the first time drawing this logo. Um, you just like match up the lines and just try and aim for a good design. Um, so as I said, this is the first time I've drawn this, and if you've seen these like logo drawing videos, a lot of them are perfect, but it can give you a starting point to just just practice drawing logos really and things. That's what I, I like to do, you know, here and there, just draw the logos and uh, just see what I can do. It gives you a, an understanding of like uh, different logos as well and um, how to draw them and how you can create your own logos so as you can see the legs here um, follow the shape of the body and the head there um, that's important to get them right and all like evenly spaced make sure they're matching up on either side Sometimes if you're not used to drawing logos, which I'm, I'm not really, but um, it takes a, a lot of practice. You can see like this logo looks quite simple, but on the face of it, um, there's some like tricky bits that you have to get right. Um, and that's like the, the dimensions of the legs and things, they all have to roughly match and evenly spaced. So that's what you've got to look for. Always like have an image of what you want to draw beforehand. That's what I've got. Uh, I'm using a off camera. It's like a, a Google image of this spider drawing. And a lot of the Spider-Man type of designs like this are similar. You know, this is just like one of many updated versions. Um, but yeah, just follow along take from this video what you can you know this is it's not really a, a proper drawing tutorial as in you know this you know you do exact lines like this you measure this measure that you just just practice drawing that's the best way of uh, drawing anything really is just getting on with it and not not being too bogged down with um, specific details like exact measurements or anything um, you could work that out um, another time on a more complex drawing um, or you could if you're into all that you know <laughs> just um, measure things out and yeah, see as you can see there I messed it up there <laughs> but that's part of the learning process really I thought I'd leave that in there As long as you have it evenly spaced out, like I said, um, quite a few times now. Um, tried to erase that, but the, the paper underneath is really not very good. But for this purposes of this drawing video, it's okay, it'll do. Yeah, just try and uh, space out them legs. Give them the gaps in between because they're going to be dark, um, like inked. Um, like I said, when you're, you're drawing this, you, you can use rulers um, to neaten up the lines. Um, really plan it out. Uh, this just gives you a, a guideline to follow, but then there's lots of images out there that you can just look at as well. So it's, it's entirely up to you how you do this. I'm just thinking with a sharpie now. Um, quite thick black ink within that space mm -hmm. 
There's some other logos out there that um, look really easy on the face of it, but then when you try and start to draw them, you realise you might need to plan some logos out. It's just, I always think when you're drawing or beginning to draw any type of logo, it's best to try and freehand it first, uh, learn all the lines, and then you have sort of, uh, a basic understanding of the, the logo and how it's structured and then later on you could draw a more neater version that's the way I look at it, all drawings to be honest um, you start off with a rough sketch uh, you may do a separate drawing um, on a scrappy bit of paper just like this in my sketchbook or your sketchbook and it's all it's all practice you've got to you've got to practice drawing different things and logos for me um, quite tricky and it's it's just getting an understanding of you know how to draw them so yeah freehand them first and you know learn all the lines learn all the the way things are structured that's the best piece of advice I can give you um, I'm in no way um, a proper teacher or anything otherwise I'll be um, teaching actual people in a classroom but if I can try and give you any advice and if there's anything that I've missed in this video or any video um, just leave a comment and I'll I'll try and answer you answer you as best as I can you know um, I always uh, reply to comments, um, good or bad, um, reply to criticism and things like that. Um, I know exactly how these videos, uh, some of them are okay, some of them are fairly basic, um, but I hope in the future I can do some really good drawing how-to videos. Um, but right now I don't know exactly what people might want to know so if there's anything just leave it in the comments and I'll, I'll try and work on a few things so as you can see there um, it looks a bit rough around the edges but that's that's because I freehanded it no rulers I'm just trying to whiten that space in between but I'll just make it up a bit worse <laughs> but that's the the paper underneath as well so it doesn't really matter um, and that's it so just keep practicing drawing logos and um, but always freehand them first like I said and thanks for watching cheers now